Hello everyone, my name's Sky. I'm a photographer from the UK and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I edit my drone photography using Luminar Neo. One evening I headed out to this aqueduct I've been wanting to capture for a while now. The lighting conditions there were perfect, it was calm and golden. So I decided to send my drone up in the air to see what I could get. So firstly when I go into the image in Luminar Neo I normally start off with the Crop AI tool. And here we can change the aspect ratio to one of the predetermined ones. I'd like to go by 16 by 10 for a landscape shot. And I just bring it over just so the river goes through the center or as much the center of the image as we can. We've got the sun in the background there and we've got the valleys left and right. So that looks good to me. Let's apply that. The next thing that I do is I go down to the noiseless AI tab. And a lot of the time with drones, because they've got a smaller center, some of the textures and details of the image can get a bit noisy uh, especially if I zoom in here you can definitely tell with this image especially when you're shooting at low light conditions which we are uh, so I just come over and I just change this to low and it'll just work its magic just to sort of smooth out all the sort of uh, textures in the image now if we go back in it's definitely made an improvement but it's just very subtle as well the next thing that i do is i come over to the develop tab and this is where i just sort of try and bring some of the details out in the image uh, the first thing i do is i create a slight little s curve down here just to add a bit of contrast in just to see what the shadows would look like and what the highlights would look like if i blew them out a little bit as well uh, but i'd like to bring up the exposure slightly just to make the image pop a little bit more and then maybe bring down the highlights. That looks great, really happy with that. And also bring down the shadows as well. Yeah, I'm really liking how this is looking so far. Okay, and the next thing I'd like to do is I come down to the temperature. Personally, because it's a golden hour image, I'll just bring this to the warmer tones. And already at three, you can tell it's doing such a good job at sort of making the image a lot warmer as to what it looked like at the time when I took this shot. I'm also gonna bring down the saturation slightly and bring up the vibrance. Now the saturation, it sort of saturates the whole image and all the colors within the image, but with the vibrant, it sort of saturates the underrepresented colors within your image. So that's why I like to bring up the vibrance, but also bring down the saturation as well. The next thing when I'm looking at the image, I'm looking at this uh, green little dot at the bottom of the image. I'm not really sure what that is. It might just be, you know, just an element that got in the image, maybe from, you know, the sun that's in the background. So I come over to the erase tab. I select the size of my brush, maybe bring it down slightly. I'll click over and I'll click erase and see what it does. And already it's just perfect. It's gone. I don't need to do any more adjustments with it. That's before and after. Done a really good job there. Now, the one thing that I wanted to capture a lot is the sunset. Now the sun's out, there's no clouds, and I really wanted to get some sun rays going across the image because I feel like that would add so much depth. Unfortunately, I didn't get that as well as I thought I would, but with Luminar Neo, there's a sun rays tab, and if we go over, uh, we can put the place sun center, so we'll go over where the sun is, and then we'll just increase the amount, and it will sort of replicate the sun's rays and how that would affect your image. Now, I like to do it subtly so it's not uh, dominating the image and it takes your eye away from what we're looking at really, which is the aqueduct itself. So I'll bring the overall look down. I'll bring the sun radius down as well. And the number of sun rays, I'll bring that all the way down as much as I can. So to about four. And then with the sun rays warmth, I'll bring that up just to replicate the sort of uh, golden hour look that we're after. It's all about making subtle changes. There's before and there's after. It's really taking that image to the next level, but we're only making slight changes and adjustments here. The next thing I'd like to do is I can come over to the landscape tool. And from here we can boost the golden hour ever so slightly. One of the things I like to do once I've done all my edits to the image is masking. And what this is, is localized edits to parts of your image to bring your eye to the subject. So if we come over to the develop tab and we go to masking, we can go to linear gradient. And if we drag the gradient up across the image, go to adjustments and bring down the exposure and bring down the shadows ever so slightly. It just brings your eye towards the subject of the image. So here's the before and after, and you can already tell what a difference using Luminar Neo has made to this image. Even using the sun rays tab, you know, it really brings out a lot of 
depth in the image that wasn't there beforehand. So if you are new and you did enjoy this video, please like and comment for more videos like this.